Well, to start the day, many of us are actually in the 40s this morning. Some spots are in the low 40s, so at 7 o'clock, we'll go with some mid 40s on average in the metro area, low 50s at 8, and then at 9 o'clock, we'll start to, uh, to climb out of those chillier temperatures, 57 degrees under mostly sunny skies at that hour. Pretty skyline, though, in our Tuscaloosa sky cam this morning, looking down University Boulevard and Bright Denny there in the background. Really not a cloud out there. Most of us, as I mentioned, are in the 40s. It's 47 in Tuscaloosa, 45 Birmingham, some low 40s as you go up the interstate in Gadsden and Fort Payne. I worked 46 in Anniston and then some low 40s in Haleyville too. So chilly start to the day, but by 10 o'clock, 60 degrees expected. One o'clock numbers in the upper 60s, mostly sunny skies and some low 70s as we head toward four o'clock a little bit later on this afternoon. Seven o'clock, we'll see numbers dropping down to about the mid 60s. We're going to jump ahead a few days. We do have a front coming in on, on a thir Tuesday night into Wednesday and that's going to drop our temperatures but looks to come through dry. So really the uh, many of the, the days during this week are expected to be rain free until we get to Friday night into Saturday and you'll notice once we get into the overnight period, here comes our next storm system. It looks like some rain and thunderstorms expected and so that looks to be our next widespread chance for rain and it looks like some of that will at least continue through the first part of the day on Saturday. This is at two o'clock in the afternoon and then as we head into late in the day and into Saturday night, even into Sunday, this model really dries us out. And so, so far, the highest rain chances over the weekend will come on Saturday with drier weather expected on Sunday, which is at least working out OK for the uh, the Geico 500. Obviously, some of the other races on Saturday uh, may be impacted, but that's six days away. So we have some time to fine tune that and I'm sure the timing will change, but it really does look pretty dry up until that point. And then chilly turning much chillier by Wednesday, the middle of the week with highs only in the 60s. Back to you. And yeah, thanks, Steph. 545 on the